he, had, he told me that we were going out to Glasgow and we were having an overnight and we were going places so I had to pack a bag and I had to take some nice things to wear. Uh -huh. So because I thought we were doing all nice things, I went and got my hair all done and um, he had just checked into this, I can't, I can't remember the name of it, this lovely place in Glasgow. It was like a kind of trendy Glasgow apartment thing. Right. There was a huge bouquet of flowers, big box of chocolates, a bottle of vintage champagne and then we were going to, out for a meal and then going to the theatre and um, when, it was when we were out for the meal that he proposed. Um, I couldn't imagine being without him, really, and um, I've, we've wanted to be married for quite a while now. Um, I think marri marriage is a big thing to him, but it's it's a really really big thing to me, um, just from from my beliefs and things like that. And I, to start a family, I want us us to be a family to start. So Mark's making me part of his family and then we'll start our wee family. He's um, really, really funny, really happy, um, makes me laugh, makes me smile all the time. We just, when we're, all, when we're together, it's, we're just in our little bubble. And it's just about, it's about us, it's not about anybody else. <laughs> Just try and enjoy the the moment. Because it's the last of this you life. How, like, how strongly we feel about each other and we, we, we love each other so much and we, we always do want to be together but this is us making our commitments to each other um, in the eyes of God and there's just a significance in that I think. Mark, Heather, it's my privilege to be able to welcome you as friends back to this church that you've come to know, especially on this day, which is so special for each of you and for all of us, for we gather from places far distant as well as close to hand in order to join with you in your celebration 
of the love that you have found for each other and in each other. And so we come to celebrate the marriage that takes place this day, wishing you every good wish, but also all that is good that lies ahead. If any person can tell of any reason why Mark and Heather should not now legally be married, then you should please declare it. <laughs> it's all right, I'm glowing. <laughs> Heather, would you like to pass your flowers to Dawn? <clears throat> Sweaty hands, I think. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Positive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mark, Heather, as a sign and seal to the vows you now make, would you please hold each other by your right hand? And Mark, will you repeat these words after me? I, Mark. I, Mark. Take you, Heather Gillen. Take you, Heather Gillen. To be my wife. To be my wife. And in the presence of God. And in the presence of God. And before this congregation. And before this congregation. I promise. I promise. And covenant. And covenant. To be a loving. To be a loving. Faithful. Faithful. And dutiful husband. And dutiful husband. To you. To you. Till death shall part us. Till death shall part us. I, Heather Gillen. I, Heather Gillen. Take you, Mark. Take you, Mark. To be my husband. To be my husband. And in the presence of God. And in the presence of God. And before this congregation. And before this congregation. I promise. I promise. And covenant. And covenant. To be a loving. To be a loving. Faithful. Faithful. And dutiful wife. And dutiful wife. To you. To you. Till death shall part us. Till death shall part us. Mickey, do you have rings, please? I've forgotten how to do that bit. Mm. This is your left hand, then, right? If you just take them out and place them on the Bible here. Oh, yeah. That's brilliant. Mark, Heather, may these wedding rings placed upon this Bible, and upon which now we seek the blessing of Almighty God be forever a sign of your continuing love and your unbroken faithfulness, one for the other. And mark as a sign of the commitment you have just made to Heather in front of us all. Would you please take this ring and place it on her left hand? And Heather, as a sign of your commitment to Mark, would you place this ring on his hand? By the sign of receiving and exchanging rings, you now take each other to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness even as in health, to love and to cherish until death shall part you. Will you please hold each other by your right hand once again, and this time place them in mine. Mark and Heather have declared before us all and before Almighty God their intention to live together from this day forward within Christian marriage. To this end, they have each made sacred vows. They have given and received the gift of wedding rings. And so Mark, Heather, by the authority invested in me as a minister within the Christian church, 
I declare you now to be husband and wife. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. And may the Lord bless you and keep you both. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace and blessing always. Amen. Amen. The congregation, please be seated. Would you like to stand? Would you want to give your wife a wee kiss? That was a wee kiss. That's what you told us to do. You were listening at the rehearsal. <laughs> Mark, Heather, before we bring our service to its close and allow all your friends here to gather around and congratulate you, I want to read some words, not many, but they're very special words. They are words that come from the Christian Bible. And so they were written a long time ago. And yet, I want to read them to you both on this very special day. Because I believe that in spite of their antiquity, these words have never been surpassed. And the way they can describe for us that love that all of us here I'm sure rejoice and will celebrate today that you have found for each other but they can also describe that love which I hope people here will pray with me that from this day forward each and together you will strive to build your married life upon. Love is patient. Love is kind and envies no one. Love is never boastful, nor conceited, nor rude, not quick to take offense. Love keeps no score of wrongs, does not gloat in other people's wrongdoing. But delights only in the truth. There is nothing love cannot face. There is no limit to its faith, its hope, or its endurance. And so in a word, there are three things that shall last forever. Faith, hope and love, but the greatest of them all is love.
raise your glasses and have a toast to the bride and groom. Please say a few words to remind me of uh, Heather. Uh, Elizabeth and I were blessed to be able to see Heather and bring her through uh, a growing up to maturity. And I'm delighted to say she's turned into a very, very caring and thoughtful young lady. We're so proud of her. And because of these attributes, it's made her into a very well respected staff nurse, Wisher General. And we're really proud of her. For that day. Uh, from the first day Elizabeth and I met Mark, he was over in Tenerife and he was in uh, doing really wonderful work, entertaining people in his mum and dad's bar, Playa Paraiso. And from that day we've always enjoyed his company and as a son-in-law I've always thought of him more as a real good pal and always will be that way. And we had some wonderful times together, the whole, the whole of us, and we've got all that to look forward to in the future as well. More like that. Terrific times when great company. Yeah. I think I've said enough. So <laughs> I'd like you to be upstanding. <laughs> and I propose a toast going in there to Mark and Heather, a wonderful couple. A long and happy marriage together. Mark and Heather. It's time. <laughs> Distinguished guests, family, friends, and my friends from Cornwall. <laughs> My wife and I would like to thank everybody for making the effort to be here today on our very special day. There certainly is a lot of love in this room. There's more love than that. Without you all, it wouldn't have been the same. A lot bloody cheaper, <laughs> but not the same. <laughs> Thanks, David, uh, for these speech, your kind words. I, I didn't expect a speech like that, mate. It's absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> At the same time, I'd like to thank both David and Elizabeth for always making me feel com uh, comfortable in their home, for the love, support, and generosity they've shown me since I met their beautiful daughter. Thank you so much for welcoming me into your lovely family with open arms. Everything Heather is, which is nothing short of amazing and beautiful to her very core, is all down to you both. Thank you so much for that. I'm very proud to be your now son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Mum and Dad, as a guy getting older, I'm always overwhelmed and inspired by the love and devotion you've both showed me through the years. You've both always been by my side, every step of the way. Uh, words really can't express how much I love you both. Heather, I had many ideas in my head of what you'd look like today. Some clean, some not so clean. That's not even written down. <laughs> Sorry, mother. <laughs> but, but all these were blown away when I saw you. 
I've, I've never seen such beauty. You look truly breathtaking today, babe. You really do. I'm totally speechless, and that's rare. <laughs> In becoming Mrs. Wild today, you've made me the happiest man alive, as far as I'm concerned. Without doubt, you are my best friend, my soulmate, <clears throat> and my true love. I love you so much. I really do love you so, so much. <laughs> I'd like to now introduce you to my best man, Mickey, who's going to introduce himself again, probably. Give me a round of applause. Big <laughs> So we, we all know I'm called Mick Lane now, so Mark's introduced me, um, and I'm going to be his best man, but I must admit I'm honoured to be his best man. For me, it's a real, real privilege to be Mark's best man. I must admit, it didn't really come as a surprise. I look on those two tables at all the people that have come from Cornwall, and I can see why he chose me. <laughs> okay, firstly, I just want to comment on how beautiful Heather looks. Heather, you look amazing. Uh, Mark is so, so lucky to be marrying someone so beautiful as you. And I think, you know, Mark has echoed, echoed that in his own speech, but, you know, you look amazing today. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I'd like to say that I think both of the bridesmaids also look stunning, and I think Mark and Heather were absolutely over the moon when you both agreed to be the bridesmaids, so congratulations, guys, for agreeing to do that. <laughs> Okay, with me being married, I think I'm in a position now to offer him some advice. <laughs> From now on, mate, it's not the Mark Wilde show, it's the Heather Wilde show. <laughs> so you better start getting used to it. So ladies and gentlemen, please stand up, raise your glasses and toast, not only to Mark and Heather and a long prosperous future together, but also to the Heather Wilde show. <laughs> Well done, Mickey. I've not finished. Oh, I've got God. one more request. I've got a very small request to Mark, and it comes not just from me, but it also comes from your mates in Cornwall. The fact that you're getting married, mate, proves that you've grown up and you're facing your responsibilities. But please, please, stop tucking your shirt into your jeans like Simon Cowell. <laughs> it's not a pretty look. <laughs> That's all, that, that's me finished. Okay, so enjoy your day, enjoy your meal, and let's have a great evening tonight. Our love has changed. It's not the same. And the only way to say it is say it. It's better I can't conceal This way I feel For all the time we spend together Forever Just gets better See what I'm trying to say
It's better.